G'day guys, welcome back to the Match Day Vlogs. I'm running late, the game's about to start in two minutes, but the traffic at Olympic Boulevard has done me, has done me dirty. Um, pretty sure there's an NBL game on, and I'm pretty sure maybe some A-League, but it was just bumper to bumper. Meeting Rog, uh, Danny Colson, and a couple of others in at the footy. They're already in. So this mud gutted individual needs to really get, really get the legs turning. Well, I've rocked up late, Rog, and um, it's it's a gold piece. It's basically all. You've rocked up late, but you missed pure devastation. What did David Cunningham done in ACL? So that's not what you want. It's not what you want. Certainly not. Oh, he's one of my boys, one of my favourites. Uh, this week. And our man Owies has just kicked a goal. I'm not sure why I'm excited. Yeah, I know. Well, I know why you're excited because it's our man Bloody Owies. <laughs> um, so we'll go the tip. It's the start of the, the first quarter. I'm going to back my team in. I'm going to go the D's by 28. I'm going to go D's by 15 goals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to do the reverse mods. <laughs> yeah, have started hot and Eddie started, started well. well. Started well. It's one of those ones where because, you know, you're not one of the better teams in the competition, I'll, we could cash out 80%. Like, you know, you're not, yeah. you're not, like if you were playing the Tigers and the Dogs, you'd be coming out all guns blazing. But we could catch in an 80. Because we're playing the best team in the comp, we're going 100. Maybe we catch off today. We frustratingly start really, really slowly every week. Yeah. Um, and, and we are just prone to lapses, so <laughs> the perfect storm is brewing for a big deep comeback. I bet my life Mark Pitta A kicks his goal. Pitta is going to put it away, you reckon? Bet my life. We're going to... Mark it in the footy records here. Yeah. He doesn't miss. Good pit. Low well angle. Mark. Directly in front. He's got it! Oh, I, get, I fight to live another day. <laughs> oh, Nibbler. He's going to kick from I 45. Bet my life he misses. It's low and hard. Yeah! <laughs> you won from two on, uh, on the yeah, goal ticket. Yeah. <laughs> end to end footy. Weed had a mark in the goal square. Stolen by Kay Chandler. Sammy Weed could be the nicest bloke in the world, but I think Kay Chandler deserves a bit of a spray. Yeah, I don't think that'll be looked too fondly uh, in the uh, match review. A link up between the Weed and Tommy Mack, and Tommy Mack's going to kick one to us. I'm, chan I'm a chance of taking a big kick hanging here. Straight to us, Tommy. Days. Quarter time here at the G. The D's are up by seven points. We were down by about ten, but turned it on late in that first term. Rod, how you seen it? Yeah, yeah it looks too good. All your goals are coming a bit easy, and our goals are coming real hard. So I reckon this will be one where we hang with you for about three quarters. You're at, you know, two, three goal leads sort of operation. Then you end up winning by five or six goals in the last quarter. It's weird. Last week sort of felt like a loss against the Swans. They've come out really fired up. Let's yeah. see how they go in the second term. Come on, Dees. Casbolt to reduce it to a goal. Start of the second. At our end. Go away, He's kicked it. Good tofu. He struck that beautifully. He struck that up. I'll, I'll sit in here. It's a complete wrong angle. I was ready to take him out. Don't let him on. Kick it straight to us. Went straight through the high diddle diddle. Great shoe by Charlie Spargo. He had three tools to choose from. Tommy Max pinched it from Benny Brown. And then goes back in front of the members and slots a ripper. This is a man at the peak of his confidence. The kick corner shot on the trot now, and now this is the question. Do we tidy the ship back up? Do we get it back on track? Or is this another lap so we can see the next three? So, well, it's been goal for goal for the first quarter and a half, so this is a pretty important 10 minutes for the loser. As important as it gets. He loves this kick. I, I bet my life he kicks his goal. I bet my would strike me if he misses. Good. Two in a row for the Blues. I never doubted us for a second we win this. Jeez, Hibbert on <laughs> Mackay. I'm not sure about it. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but Stephen May just, he wasn't on Mackay and it's cost us going. Would you bet your life he kicks it? Uh, I'm going to back him in. He kicked a winner against the Blues a couple of years ago. Usually good on a set shot, Shaden Hunt, good boy! We'll get the D's lead by 13 points. It's wet and cold now. Uh, how do you see the game playing out from here? Because the Blues, they got back in the I see this playing out how a lot of our games play out. We'll be there or thereabouts, and in the last quarter, might be the last seven minutes, you get a couple on the board and you ease up to a comfortable sort of 4 5 goal lead. Jeez, they're pushing us in a lot of areas, the Blues. They've been pretty hot around the footy. I think they've been defending quite well, so. It's going to be a 10 second half, but keen to see how it pans out. He's hoping up the baggage. Big second what do you half think coming up. Come on, Dees. 
I think you got a pretty comfortable win. Yeah, we're the one uh, bring it back into it a bit. Maybe. Go for it, Buzzy, with a couple of disco hips yeah, moves. I'm not sure they were necessary. I think he. Oh, yeah, he could have just run. Did the three sixty three in no one in the straight line, but we, it's what uh, we like to say. Good boy, too. A bit of flair, and he centered it to Langdon. It is still absolutely coming down here Great in the chance. Chance. Come on, Ed. Come on, Lingers. Good boy. Yes, go, Keys. Live, I felt like that was a push. Yeah, well, live, I wasn't sure. Great play, I reckon he is. But we'll take it. The D's skip out to a 31 point lead. End of the third. Starting to kick away with it now. Highlight oh, out for two in a row. Yeah, third for the day. Extend the lead in the Coleman and potentially uh, get us a bit, bit around. A bit excited. A bit toey. Kick it to Nags. It's Sex low, it's hard. It's coming back. Pickett dribbler from the boundary. Oh, get around him. Break it, nature. That was summed up beautifully. Is there a single D fan whose favourite player is not crossing? <laughs> you wouldn't find many on it, I reckon. That's beautiful. Get around him. Great quarter time here at the G. Sort of an arm wrestle for that turn. A comfortable mar mar margin for you. We'll have our odd moments of momentum where we kick a couple, but you know, we'll kick two, you'll kick three, and eventually you just have that real comfortable sort of five, six goal win. It, it's sort of what we've done for a few games this year where we're not really putting teams away. Like, we're not doing the Bulldogs and winning by 70 or 80 in any game. But whether we play a North Melbourne or even like a Richmond or Geelong, we're winning by like 20, 20 points. Yeah. Just getting the job done. Yeah, it's really very professional. It, yeah, it has been. It's been really consistent, which is good. The um, of muscular been agent. happy with yeah, how the forward lines worked. I think the Blues have been ticking along quite nicely as well. Mackay got off the leash a little bit that turn. Yeah, I still think that our uh, connection between half forward and full forward, like that inboard kick, you, know, you have the best intercepts in the game. So but still, I'd like to see that link up happen a bit more. Like when Mackay's out full stretch, it's unstoppable. So just places. get him on the lead, hit him up. Last quarter about to kick off. All comes down to this. Come on, Dees. Come on, Dees. Get it done. Halfway through the last. Mickey Gibbons lining up. Woo. It's nice. First, first round of doubles on you, Matty. Mark Murphy loves the miracle stand. Well, he's usually a banana operator. Usually he's a very, very good banana man. But that was a bit of a sack talk. Kick the snap here, the sack torpedo. Not one of the easiest kicks to do in the, uh, in the system, but uh, yeah, pull the, pull the snap down and kick back. Poor Sammy Wells, he's been trying hard. Most disposals on the ground, just gets run down there. But his effort, you can't question. Nah, uh, just a bit of a one-man show. Hey, everyone in the team matched him in the effort department. And we'd be uh, right there or thereabouts. had that vibe of you running away with sort of a comfortable 4-5 goal win. Um, but you have a class team, a class of up, quite clearly. Up the D. Jake Favourite. Jake Favourite. Jake Favourite. Jeez, I'll take that. I was really happy with I don't know, how they played out the four quarters. The Blues, it's one of those teams that just keeps keep on keeping on. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, it, against all the good sides, we've just been four goals off the pace. So, you know, we need to find four goals from somewhere. A couple of pre-seasons, hopefully we get there. Who'll be on next week? I wish I could tell you, I'm actually not sure. It'll be a win. It'll be a win. It'll be a bounce back. Who have you got? We got the Crows. What are you, 9-0 now? 10-0? 10-0? 10-0? Absolute What do we see? The D's get up over the Blues by about four or five goals. We, we've won pretty consistently by about four or five goals every game we played, so... The consistency is there. It appears as if the soccer's wrapped up the same time as the footy. I'm not sure what the uh, the city of Melbourne planning people are doing, but it's going to be packed to try and get out via vehicle from the tennis centre, but we'll bear on. Super stoked with the performance today. I am just wrapping up the vlog on the walk to the car. 
Uh, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. Cheers.